And then, of course, there's the hypergamous housewives who use their obligations, quote-unquote, as a stay-at-home mother to be an appendage to a high-earning man. Just as bad as the, quote-unquote, independent feminists who don't need no man. Lisa Britton says, Modern feminism is the idea that blaming men for everything, having as many sexual partners as you want without consequences, and serving your employer is an empowering and fulfilling choice. Yet being a loving, dedicated wife and mother who puts family first isn't. Huh? Well, you see, now we have two examples of how women fulfill their hypergamy and basically skate by on recruit mode. Basically skate by in easy mode and don't really have to do much. On the one hand, you've got the modern feminist, right? Who blames men for everything, which is using blame and blame shifting and the m oppression narrative that men are oppressing her, right? She uses that as her get out of jail free card for any time she needs to, you know, be an adult or take responsibility, take, account take accountability. Of course, you've got the blame men for everything, right? This is what women, this is what these feminists do, right? She can have as many sexual partners as she wants because it's my body, my choice. Uh, without consequences, because now, you know, if you say you're a slut, you're, you know, if you slut shame, no slut shaming, you're a misogynist if you slut shame, right? Uh, serving your employer, basically, you know, you're trading in being a housewife for being a, you know, having a desk job, basically for a paycheck, right? Either way, they're, they're using something, at least I respect getting a paycheck more than just using a man, uh, you know, using the excuse that I'm a housewife because really it's like at the end of the day, you know, by the time your kids hit six, seven years old, they're gone basically a third of the day. And it's like, what do you do the whole day? You sleep, maybe you clean for an hour. What you should be doing is cooking, but, the, but you know, most women don't even cook these days that, you know, because of feminism, they think it's a, it's an affront to their, you know, to their ego if you ask them to cook cook the man a meal. So the man oftentimes has to come home and cook something, which is, you know, par for the course with, with bullshit, you know, bullshit women. Um, serving your employer is an empowering and fulfilling choice, which, you know what, I don't have, I'm not that mad at that. If you wanna to go to work, go to work, you know? Um, yeah, being a loving, dedicated wife and mother who puts family first isn't, huh? So there's a lot of leverage here, right? So on the one hand, you know, you got this feminist, right? Um, who, you know, can blame men for everything. On the other hand, you've got this hypergamous housewife because that's what it is. Because housewives are, you know, there, there's that word house in housewives. So the man has to have a house. He's got to be a working man. And then she can what? She can, you know, give him sex, give him intimacy give him kids, clean his house, maybe cook, probably not in today's day and age, in exchange for what? Room and board for a guy with a great house, right? So that's still hypergamy, right? Then of course there's the hypergamous housewives who use their quote unquote obligations as a stay at home mother to be an appendage to a high earning man. I like that word appendage. Appendage is like he just owns you. You're something that he owns. Um, just as bad as an independent quote unquote feminist who don't need no man. It's just as bad, but it's just a different type of bad. So you're using the man for his money, you're using him for his house, you're using you're you're, you're living in his castle rent free basically by sucking his dick, you know, giving him sex, being intimate with him and giving him kids and maybe cleaning, maybe cooking, although that's that's arguable in today's day and age, right? I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I, I don't think I like either of these, right? I don't really like either of these. You know, if we're talking about real, genuine equality, uh, I might just go with the girl who has a, has a job, who has a career, because at least, at least we're equal. At least, hey, you know, you got a career, I got a career, you know, you're, you're taking care of yourself, I'm taking care of yourself. At least love is equal in that scenario, because I, I learned the hard way, man. These women out here, Particularly ones who are like, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm submissive to you as a man, and I'm, um, you know, you're, you're, <laughs> you're the uh, breadwinner, and I respect that. And uh, these ones are hypergamous. You know, you see what I'm saying? Like, you know, on the one hand, like, 
you might think like, oh, cool, you know, this girl, she's not, she's not some radical feminist. She doesn't hate men. She, she respects me and woo, woo, woo. Yeah, as long as you're bringing it home a paycheck. But if you don't bring home a paycheck, all that love, quote unquote, and respect, quote unquote, goes out the window. You see what I'm saying? So it's like once, once you're, <laughs> once you're not bringing home the bacon, once you're not paying the mortgage, once you don't provide all those nice perks and benefits like the house and the nice car to drive her to and fro, right? Once you take that away, she's gone. So what is she really worth? She's just an appendage. She's just something that you're paying for. You're paying for the house. You're paying for the car. You're paying for the woman. That's essentially what a lot of marriages today are. It's essentially what a lot of relationships to today are. So I don't f like e either of these type of women are, are a loss to me. Both of these type of women are not a win because you got the crazy feminist who has a who has a lay count in the hundreds and she's nuts by the time you you know by the time she gets to you and she's your girlfriend she's bipolar she's shady she does crazy things she cheats on you et cetera, et cetera. you got that that type of crazy I mean, but at least she has a job at least she's taking care of herself on the one hand like hey man you know i got no problem with that if you want to be independent whatever but then you got you know I mean, even though these women say they're independent, a lot of times, you know, they're, they're, they have an OnlyFans account, they're doing cam girl work, they're doing porn, they're, you know, they got sh sugar daddy websites out here, they're getting their drinks and dinner paid for, so they're not really that independent, although bottom line, a lot of times these girls have jobs, I've met a lot of these girls, you know, they, they got jobs, but they're not, they're not renting houses, they might, li they might rent a room in an apartment. They're not renting houses, though, okay? So a lot nine times out of ten, these girls aren't, like, they're not as successful as men are, and they know that. And so they're still as, quote-unquote, independent as they are. They're still out seeking, you know, they're still out seeking the pay dirt. They're still out seeking their their pot of gold man who, who has the job and has got the nice car and all the shit, right? They're still seeking that, these, these, these feminists. So don't, don't get it twisted. Don't think, oh, just because she's a feminist and she's working for herself that, that she really has an independent mindset. No, female nature is still female nature. She's still hypergamous. She's still seeking the man with the money, okay? And then, on the other hand, you got this girl who's like, oh, you know, uh, you know, she's just a wallflower. She's not very smart. She m m maybe went to a few semesters at college. You've met this girl. You know who I'm talking about. And this is the kind of girl who just leans back and falls on, falls back on a guy who, who's a breadwinner. And then she just stays at home, and she's basically just using him. She's basically almost like a house cat. She has the equivalent value of a house cat. She sits there all day. You know, she's cute to look at. She's soft. You pet her. You know, you can cuddle and, 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 and hug with her and whatnot. But at the end of the day, you're paying for her food. At the end of the day, you're giving her room and board rent-free because there's an exchange of, you know, her intimacy or quote-unquote love or whatever you give her, whatever she gives you for room and board. And, and, don't, and believe me, they are hypergamous. So I don't think you can win either way here, man. And and this is these are the these are the two main type of girls. And and what are the chances you're going to get a third one? What are the chances you're going to find one who is really genuinely quote unquote independent, doesn't do porn, do, isn't selling her OnlyFans account, isn't um, living off of men? She will go Dutch. She will go fifty fifty on drinks and dinner, etc. She's independent, smart, quality. What are the chances you're going to find one like that? <laughs> what are the chances you're gonna find one? And she doesn't have a lay count in the hundreds. She doesn't. She hasn't slept with more than 30, 40, 50 guys by the time she hits 25. Okay. What are the chances? I don't know, man. In today's day and age, I do not know because you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. You're screwed either way. On the one hand, you get you get a user who's not gonna be there if you lose your job. The only contingency that she has is that you have a job. On the one hand, right? You have this woman who is like, yeah, yeah, I want, you know, I want love, and, you know, she wants to be a good housewife, she wants to be a good mother, but only provided if you have the money. If you don't, then she's gone. You see, you see how that works? So you got the housewife, right, and then you got the modern feminist, and you can't win either way. You can't win either way, and there's a, you know, maybe there's a unicorn out there, maybe there's the girl, but come on, I mean, you know, come on. Anyway, appreciate you listening, Jay Lee, Northwest Podcast, peace.